We are very, very happy to be with Maurice Taylor today, a proud veteran of the United States Navy, more than 20 years. Uh, and his brother Chris is here as well. And my dad was in the United States Navy for three years, one month, and 15 days. Uh, Maurice was in the Navy for more than 20 years. And we thank him for his service. And I think, as we know, yesterday was a date that we will never forget as long as we live. A date that in 2001, September 11th, uh, changed our lives. And uh, many lives from our fellow citizens of Illinois uh, who went forward in the face of danger to defend our democracy. Uh, yesterday is now called Patriot Day in America, and it's important that we remember our patriots not only on September 11th, but every day of the year. And that's why we're gathered here today, because there are many men and women who have served, who have worn the uniform of our country, who come back home. Uh, we want to make sure they have good jobs, a good chance with the GI Bill to get a good education, decent health care, but also shelter housing and it's very important to get our veterans an opportunity to buy a home the american dream so our program is called welcome home heroes it began a few years ago and we're very very happy that over 1600 service members veterans have been able to use this program to buy a home and we're going to be going across illinois not only here in chicago today but we'll be in moline and peoria and in Carbondale. Uh, those are places all across our state where we have veterans who are living and who want to buy a home in their community. And it's so important right here on the south side of Chicago that we have good men and women who are veterans get a chance to get a good mortgage. A Welcome Home a Heroes Mortgage has a very good interest rate. $10,000 of help with respect to closing costs, and then also this uh, excellent help with respect to a mortgage credit, uh, tax credit. So it's real important that we continue this mission all across our state, and we want to get the word out to our veterans who uh, would want to buy a home that this is the time and place to do it. And this is a program that provides an opportunity for men and women who have served our country in a way for us, I think, to give back. Um, it's a loan product uh, that provides $10,000 in down payment assistance, a safe 30-year fixed rate, um, which is currently below market at 4%, um, and also provides uh, the opportunity for a, a tax credit off of the, um, off of the uh, service person's uh, tax returns uh, for up to $20,000 um, over the life of a loan. So it really is the most lucrative um, loan product that we've ever provided. Um, and I have to say that Truly, I, you know, I've worked in affordable housing for almost 20 years now, and um, this is the best product that we've ever provided, and truly, it's a product that would not, my agency would not be um, able to provide without the strong, um, strong backing of Governor Quinn. In fact, this was his idea to launch the program when a lot of our servicemen and women were coming back um, in late 2011. Um, they were coming back from Iraq and Afghanistan, and Governor Quinn was looking at ways that we could help our vets to get back um, and reassimilate back into uh, civilian life, and, and this program was launched. And it was launched with um, the support of the state. Um, it was the first time, actually, in the history of our state, uh, Governor Quinn provided my agency capital dollars um, to advance programs like this that would help everyday folks um, around the state that needed a hand up. And so we used $20 million in the state's capital funds um, to assist this program, and to date, we've helped uh, 1,600 um, military men and women around the state to purchase their first home. And uh, we have about almost 400 still in process. So it's really been a successful program and we're happy um, to be able to reach more veterans today. Um, it's not the only way that the governor's been behind our, our vets and men and women though. For a lot of um, military folks coming back, uh, the transition has not been as easy. And we also took a, lot, a large amount of those capital dollars to produce rental housing and supportive housing for our veterans around the state. Um, we've produced over 400 units since Governor Quinn took <laughs> office. Um, in fact, we're going to be at a grand opening um, just down the street from here. Um, well, not down the street, but at 60th and Halstead, not far away, um, celebrating another 75 units of supportive housing for those men and women that have come back that maybe need a little hand up um, to make the transition back to civilian life. So I, I can't say um, enough great things about the program, but also I, I want to really uh, thank Governor Quinn because his commitment um, to our vets has been so evident through all of the work that we do, and it's really him that has made this possible today. Illinois Housing Development Authority took the lead to set up a series of events with Chicago being an important stop of the various many uh, across the heartland here today to commemorate the state's support 
of veterans and military families by investing in their future by becoming homeowners. So on behalf of the nearly one million veterans and military families across the great state of Illinois, we would like to thank Executive Director uh, Mary Kenny and her great team at IDA for their leadership on this very important uh, effort. And to the governor, whose long-standing leadership has been instrumental to the lives of the men of, and women of our nation's military, we are eternally grateful. Now, I am honored to be here this morning in support of this monumental event to talk about the Illinois Welcome Home Heroes Program and to congratulate a proud veteran, a fellow Illinoisan, and now a new homeowner on his new home. How was this feat made a reality? Well, under the leadership of Governor Quinn, the state of Illinois committed additional funds from Illinois Jobs Now as well as the Illinois Affordable Housing Trust Fund to augment home ownership for the men and women of our armed forces. And while we know veterans employment is a key component of integration, home ownership also supports their upward mobility because not only are homes for heroes an impressive ben benefit for veterans and their military families, it supports communities statewide invest in their future and successfully transitions veterans and military uh, families back to Illinois because building and fostering communities is vital to the economic and social fabric of our state. Families are the cornerstone of our community and with this investment the foundational roots of our communities as well as others throughout Illinois will be further strengthened. So, because when the people of Illinois give back to veterans and their families, they give back to us. With this program, we are positioning the state of Illinois to truly harness the skills and a sense of purpose ingrained in our nation's veterans. That's why, under the leadership of Governor Quinn, Illinois really leads the nation when it comes to our service women having the best services and resources available when they come home. And this is no soundbite. These are results. From Veterans Cash to the Illinois Military uh, Family Assistance Fund to tax credits and in-state tuition, from hiring events to state licensing, his leadership has been instrumental to the transition of hundreds of thousands of men and women who have served in our nation's military. And to cap his commitment and support of the veterans community, where the rubber meets the road, he fought for us, Illinois veterans and military families, to ensure that we would be all a part of that American dream, a dream that he has now made a reality with this, this additional investment. He is an advocate of military families, a defender of strong communities, and a champion of Illinois. Maurice, congratulations on, on your new homestead. We hope you and your family enjoy the bastions of home ownership as you put down strong roots in this great community. I know you will have a positive influence and a great voice for this community given your decades of service in our United States uh, uh, Naval Fleet. We thank you for allowing us into your home here today and more importantly for your decades of continued service to your community as well as to your country. With that, I want to thank everyone here today who came out and, and helping us commemorate this great event and to continue to build communities. Right, I'd like to thank everybody for coming out this morning. Um, and I come to y'all today with a heavy heart. I have lost my family this morning, but I felt it was important that I um, continued on and did this for fellow, uh, fellow veterans that have served and um, went before me and have come after me. I'd like to thank um, Governor Quinn for coming out, my world to my brother and everybody that's standing behind me at this moment. Um, when I first started this process, I really didn't know what I was doing, but my realtor, Vanetta, she um, guided me through it with the help of um, Jean, and we came up with this program. We found it, and um, I can say it, it has helped me out a lot. And for, uh, hopefully the veterans that um, they talk to from this point forward, they use it. It's very um, beneficial, and um, probably wouldn't have had this process done without it. So it, 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 it helps out a lot. It helps all the veterans that um, coming home want to make Chicago their home again. And this neighborhood so far is a great neighborhood. I uh, met my neighbor next door. He helped me out some. <laughs> Hate to put him on the spot, but he has helped me out. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So, you know, he walked me to the neighborhood. He told me everything that's going on is nice and quiet. I'm, I found a great home, and I'm just glad, I, you know, I was able to do it. And with the help of the Navy and the IDA program, it allowed me to do it. And moving forward, I'm enjoying my home, and I found a home in Chicago. And thank everybody for coming out.